This morning we're going to do something called the mindfulness of breathing, which uh, quite a few of you have done quite a few times now. Um, I just want to say something about mindfulness. Uh, mindfulness and being mindful is uh, is something that's bandied about quite a lot this last seven or eight years, I guess, and became quite fashionable uh, about five years ago. Uh, but it's all it's often misunderstood um, a, a lot of businesses use it and even the army in America uses it to uh, to get people to be more to be better at the jobs to be more thoughtful about the jobs I guess to actually concentrate more but it's not really that's not really um, how I see mindfulness uh, mindfulness is about living our lives right here now, right in this moment, uh, not, not in our minds, which is what we tend to do. So what we're trying to do is to not get caught up in thought. We're trying not to get caught up in memories of the past, regrets from the past, um, or planning the future or anxiety about the future. Um, sometimes we live in the past because uh, we need to feel good. So we go back to a happy memory. And often in the future, we go forward with this kind of uh, dreamlike fantasizing about how lovely it could be. And of course, it probably won't be not quite like that. Um, but if we live in the moment, we're actually living in reality. We're living in the same, in the right, in a space that is uh, true, true and real. Uh, we are we are encountering um, pleasant things, which is lovely, and we are encountering unpleasant experience which isn't so good. But if we can just stick with this pleasant and unpleasant, uh, just as it is, and just have a sense of kindness towards our own experience, then as time goes on, we just learn to live with that. And we're not sort of pushing it, pushing the unpleasant sensations, unpleasant experiences away. Uh, nor are we trying to hang on to the pleasant ones. And through uh, trying to be ethical and living uh, an ethical life, a kind life, then we learn that actually the unpleasant things aren't so bad as long as we don't try and push them away. If we can just be with them with kindness, then that's great. But the great thing about this approach to life, which is the Buddhist approach to life, is that uh, if we are here present in the moment with all that entails, then we are actually living our lives. We're not living our lives in real time rather than living our lives uh, through memories or hopes for the future. And that makes our lives so much more rich and it actually produces what you might call happiness, a kind of peaceful contentment uh, where we're not blown around by what the Buddha called the worldly winds. So that's what mindfulness is to me. Uh, and you can almost equate it with something called awareness, awareness of what's happening right now. So we'll do this meditation. A welcome to those who've joined us. Um, Martin has joined us. Uh, it's, it's good to see you, Martin. Um, so there's 21 of us now. Nearly a record, is that? <laughs> so welcome, everybody. And um, good morning, Leslie. We'll, uh, we'll start the meditation. So you can do this lying on the bed, lying on the floor, sitting on the chair, uh, sitting on a mat or cushion if you want. Good morning, Kelly. And uh, just the main thing is to relax. 
the main thing is just to oh, just let yourself be. Um, we're not trying to get anywhere or do anything. We're just going to sit and notice the breath and notice the way our mind tries to pull us away from the breath. So there's four stages. The first stage, we, uh, we follow the out-breath. The second stage, we follow the in-breath. The third stage, we bring our attention to um, the breath in our body, our upper body. And the fourth stage, we move up to where the breath enters the body. And I'll, I'll talk about each stage as we, as we go through it. And we'll begin by just settling in. So you can do this with your eyes closed or partly open. <clears throat> and we begin by just noticing that we're here. Just bringing attention to our being. <clears throat> Sitting on a chair, lying on a bed, on a cushion, whatever we're doing, just the feeling of being here right now on this Tuesday morning. Might feel the weight of our body being pulled down onto whatever we're lying on or sitting on. And just allowing that to happen. We don't have to bear our own weight, just letting our weight be held by whatever we're sitting or lying on. <clears throat> and just feeling that contact. Strong feelings where our body meets something else. Taking in any sounds, any smells, <clears throat> and the feelings, sensations in the body itself. And as much as you can. Relaxing the mind, allowing the mind to relax a little, and relaxing the body. And bringing attention particularly to the shoulders, rising on each in-breath, Falling on each out breath. And on each out breath, just relaxing as much as you can. And relaxing a little bit more on the next out breath. And a little bit more on the next. Oh. Just enjoying the sense of being here with nothing to do. No responsibilities. You can't get this meditation wrong. And bringing your awareness now to the chest area, expanding and contracting as you breathe in and breathe out. And just really feeling that. Just really feeling the sensations right now in the lungs, and the rib cage.
noticing the rhythm and not making any effort and if you find it a bit disturbing when you notice the breath just relax with that the breath will keep coming and going whatever you do If you find any tightness anywhere in the chest or the shoulders or the neck, just having a kindly sense to it, not getting into a fight with it or conflict, just being kind to any discomfort. And it will appreciate that. This is the mindfulness of breathing. And we begin by following each out breath, right from the beginning to the end. And if you like, you can place a number at the end of each out breath. This can be helpful. So at the end of first out breath, count one, and then the next out breath, count two, and so on up to 10. And when you get to 10, beginning again. Uh, you probably won't get to 10. <laughs> uh, you'll probably be distracted fairly quickly, sometimes even after two, sometimes even after one. Uh, but don't worry about that. That's okay. Just notice that you've been distracted with a sense of patience and kindness. Uh, and come back to the breath and the counting if you wish to. So counting, following the out breath, and if you wish, counting at the end. If you get distracted, don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up. <laughs> Just come back to the breath with a sense of acceptance and kindness. This is what the mind does. We're not trying to stop it as such. We're just noticing it. And the more patient we are, the kinder we are to our distractions, the less they'll probably happen over time.
And you can let go of the breath of the not the breathing, the counting uh, for a moment or two. And just uh, make sure you're comfortable. If you're not, then adjust your your position. And when you're ready, we're going to start counting if you uh, at the beginning of each in-breath. So in this stage, we're following the in-breath right from the beginning to the end. Uh, and if you wish, you can place the number right at the beginning of each in-breath, beginning with one and counting up to ten, then coming back to one. Same thing, if you get distracted, just kindly come back and begin again, counting from one, following each in-breath. not making too much effort <clears throat> we're not trying to get to 10 if we're counting <laughs> we're just using the counting as an aid doesn't matter the main thing is to keep following the breath the in-breath in this instance and coming back with a kindly attitude if we get distracted And it's important to say that whatever's happening in your meditation is the right thing. You can't get this wrong. So if there's lots of thoughts going on, that's okay. If there's no thoughts much, that's okay. If you're bored, that's okay. If you're finding it difficult, that's okay. Just noticing whatever is, whatever the truth of the moment is, with a sense of kindness and acceptance. And continuing to follow the in-breath.
<clears throat> in the third stage we're going to move to the chest area the upper body and just notice the breath coming and going in the upper body we're not counting we're just noticing the sensations of the breath particularly in the chest notice the movement of the body the rising and falling of the chest the sensations of the breath in the chest the rhythm of the breathing If you find any tightness at all or breathlessness, just be with the sensation of tightness, with a sense of kindness. Shower it with love. It will really appreciate that. Just enjoying the sense of the body moving with the breath and the sensations that produces. Not making any effort at all. In the final stage, we're going to move our attention up to the area around the nostrils or the upper lip 
where the breath passes as it comes into the body and leaves the body. There's some very delicate sensations here. So really homing in on where you take the breath into the body. Just noticing the subtle sensations around the nostrils or the upper lip. And being curious about them. About these sensations. Really homing in on them. Without thinking so much, what can you discern about the breath? Maybe it's texture, temperature, length of each breath. Just being really curious about the sensations that you can find. not making any effort at all, except just to notice the sensations around the nostrils or the upper lip. And finally, letting go of all effort. Just bring in your awareness to the whole of your being. And just sitting with whatever experience is arising without trying to avoid it, without trying to get more of it. Just sitting in this moment, noticing what your life is like right now.
And in a few moments, I'm going to ring the bell to bring the meditation to a close. And as always, when I do, just taking your time, opening your eyes when you're ready, moving your body. There's no hurry. Thank you.